In this video, we will take a look at how we can add tabs inside of Ionic side menu template. To get started, we can create a new Ionic project with the side menu template. So we can write Ionic start, then the name of the app. So in my case, I will use my app side menu. And then we have to add the template name, which is side menu. Now this will create our project with the side menu template and now it is installing the dependencies so it will take some time. So I will be back when it finishes. Now after it is installed we can change the directory to our newly created app. And then we can open the project inside of our editor. In my case I am using the Visual Studio code. So we can write code insiders as I am using the insiders build and then we can add dot here so this will open the project inside of VS code so here you can see we have the project open inside of VS code and now we can run this project so inside of our integrated terminal we can write ionic serve so this will build our project for the first time and then it will open it inside of our browser. So this is how the application with the side menu template looks like. So currently we are on the desktop screen so that's why we are seeing this menu on the side or the left side. So if I open the developer console so this will resize the window and now we can see that hamburger menu and when I click on that menu so this will show the menu as an overlay. So this is how the side menu template looks like. And now let's see how we can add the tabs inside of the side menu template. Now let's start by creating a new terminal. So we can click that plus icon. And then we can generate some new pages. So if you open source app. So this is a directory where all the pages will be generated. So now we can generate a tabs page. Ionic generate page and then tabs. Now this will generate the tabs page for us and then it will add the routing for it inside of app routing module.ts. So now we can generate some more pages so we can create one for tab one. Then one for tab two. and the last one called tab 3. So these will be the three tabs that we will show in our tabs page. So now we can close our terminal and then we can go to app routing module.ts and here we can actually comment the tab 1, 2 and 3 paths because we will be adding it inside of the tabs module so we can comment this out and then we can take this tabs path to the top here and now we can actually comment this one out because we want to make our tabs a root path so we can actually remove these tabs and now we can actually save this now after that we can go to the tabs page module so if we go to tabs module.ts and in here we can add the path so here we can add children and here we can create the new path but before that we have to add the root path so this will be tabs because we have removed this tabs from here so that means we can use this path now so this is tabs and then for the children we can use path so this will be tab1 so that will correspond to tabs slash tab1 so in here we can again add children all right and here we can add path so that will be empty string so this will be corresponding to tab slash tab one and now we can add load children so we want to lazy load our page so we can go one step above because we want to add a tab one module file here so currently we are in the tabs module so we will go one step up and then we can add tab one dot module actually this will be tab one slash 
so now here we can add the class name for our tab one module so we can actually open it and then we can copy it and then we can paste the class name here okay and similarly we can add the paths for tab 2 and tab 3 so we can actually copy this and we can again paste it okay so now instead of tab 1 I will replace it with tab 2 and then for the last one this should be tab 3 okay so that looks fine and then I have to add a path in the root so when I am in the root paths so this will redirect to tab slash tab 1 and then I can add path match full okay so now we open that tabs page so this will redirect us to tab slash tab 1 okay and then it will open this tab 1 page module and now what we can do is we can go to tabs page.html and in here we don't need that iron header and iron content we actually need to use iron tabs so here we can actually use a snippet so I can use the iron tabs so on the right you can see I am using a plugin called ionic 4 snippets so this is a vs code plugin so if you use that you can just use i tabs so this will create this boilerplate for us so <clears throat> for the tab I want to use tab 1 all right so this tab 1 corresponds to this tab 1 that path and then for the icon I am okay with this and maybe let's add maybe home about contact okay so I am actually changing these but these are essentially tab 1 tab 2 and tab 3 so this is just a label that will show inside of the application okay so now we can have a look at the application inside of our browser so here we can see currently we are on the home page but we have specified our root path to redirect to our tab 1 so I have removed this home page and now you can see if I enter that so this redirects us to tab slash tab 1 and here you can see we have tab 1 opened currently the tab 1 page is empty we will see it in a second and then if I click on about on the top you can see the URL changed to tab 2 and then we have tab 2 here and then for the contact this is tab 3 okay so now if we go to tab 1 page.html in here we can change it to home and then we can add maybe h1 this is home content okay and now we can go to tab 2 and here we can add about for the title and then I can add h1 this is about content and then we have tab 3 page.html so here we can add contact and here I can add this is contact content okay so now we can save it actually I will save all and now you can see so for the tab 1 we can see this is home content and then we have about this is about content and then contact and then if I resize the window or if I open the developer console you can see we are not seeing the hamburger menu here but if I go to the home page or actually if I close this or I open the home and then F12 so you can see there is a hamburger menu right so we actually have to add it first so if I go to maybe this one so we don't have this menu by default but if I slide from left to right so this shows the menu so let's see how we can add the menu or the hamburger menu icon so what we can do is we can go to our tab one page.html and above the title 
we can actually use the snippet called i menu to show the hamburger menu we can use the ionic menu button snippet so we can use i menu and then button so this will use a slot we will use start and then we don't want to add any menu id so we can actually actually i want to use a slot start so we can actually save it and now we can see inside of our tab one we can see this hamburger menu icon but similarly we have to add this icon on all the pages we want that hamburger menu icon so let's see how we can do that so we can just copy this code and then we can paste it here and then here and now we can save all and now we can see currently we are in the tab 3 and then we can see the hamburger menu icon and if we go to tab 2 then tab 1 we have this icon there also so this is how we can add the tabs inside of side menu template